Hello beautiful people, welcome once again to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Believe me, you will like it, yes? Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and equally like this video. And to my oldies, thank you so much for your support. I love you guys, thank you. I'm still your girl, Chinwe Glory from Lagos, Nigeria. So today I'll be talking about things to look out, you know, why employing a nanny or a help. Yes. So, but before I start, I'll be hearing, I'll be reading about a lot of news about um, women, mothers, maltreating their helps. Please, this is so wrong. If you are one of them, please don't do that it is wrong we all are human beings so why why get somebody you you know at the end of the day you maltreat them it doesn't make sense it does not make sense please let's try and treat our maids let's try and treat people that we employ or people working for us please let's try and treat them well treat them like human beings and always know that People, everybody, nobody is perfect. Yes, always know that nobody is perfect. So, correct them with love. Yes, because what you give them is what they will give you back. Or what you give them, the hand you approach, you approach them with, is how they will treat your kids too. So, let's be mindful of the things we do and how we treat people that work with us. Yes our nannies how we treat them and our helps is very important yes so let, let's dive into what um what the topic is all about the tips and things to consider while employing a nanny the first thing to consider while employing a nanny is is their age age is important yes is is very very important because at times we all we end up employing an underage child and you know give them so much load like to do so much work to do at home you have to consider the age of a, some of your nanny if you want all the works to be done by your nanny please employ somebody that is of age is important why i was pregnant i can remember pregnant of my son yeah he's 11 now i traveled home and i was telling my aunties everybody i'm looking for who to live with that i'm lonely at home so i needed somebody i was advised to take a little child yes somebody a primary school child that would go to school in the morning and get back home on time when i asked why they told me that so it will help me when my child comes the the, the the girl will be playing with my child and they all will grow up together this child i took is i'll be watching her clothes because she was so young yes yeah, she was so young you know times are hard so parents don't mind releasing their kids you know for them to have a better future please if you are employing such people please don't let their parents down yes they are giving you their child to train to train the child not to maltreat the child it's for the child to have a better education and whatnot so let's not fail these parents that entrust their child to us is very important so it's important that we consider the age if you know that this nanny you are employing will be you know doing everything at home please go for somebody that is older don't take a little child and give that child so much work to do at home if it's your child remember that you can't do that please let's let's put people let's put people into you know let's put people into consideration and you know i don't know how to say it but it's very wrong to get to take that aged child and you know make them to work like an adult the other time i saw in the news that a mother an auntie really if you see this child's body he gave the child a lot of wounds what did, what did the child do around 12 o'clock the woman's child woke up like a baby and this little girl was asked to take around 12 a.m the madam told her to carry the baby around 12 a.m. And while that child was carrying another child, 
she fell asleep and the child fell off from her believe me you need to see that girl's body the madame really damaged her yes the madame damaged her why she's a child and you around 12 a.m even me that is an adult at times you can tell me to hold this i will sleep off man it's 12 midnight please let's try to consider and treat people right it is important age is important so we have to always consider the age but please don't leave your child entirely for the nanny to take care of please even if you are working once in a while take out time and make sure that everything is okay boys can be child can be molested why the girl's child can also be molested so let's be careful another uh, point consider why employing a nanny is religion yes it's important that we put it into consideration because you can't employ a nanny a nanny let's say a nanny that is done with secondary school that has the mind of her own then you want to you know tell her that you must be going to my church with me what if that nanny is not a christian yes as a christian if you want to employ anybody please consider employing a christian too yes so are your faith and her faith align somebody that your faith and their faith align because you can't be a muslim then you employ a christian a christian that has their, the mind of their own and you expect the christian to follow you to the mosque it doesn't work like that so it's important that we consider their religion the religion of the person we want to employ if the person is ready to follow us to our own church or not yes so there won't be any conflict so before you employ them please know their church the religion and whatnot if they can follow you to yours or if they will not believe me i've employed somebody a living nanny i pay she told me to my face that ah that no she said she's not following me to my church she's an adult and at times you can't push them yes yeah, sometimes you can't so it's important that you find that first before employing them so that there won't be problem yes another thing is custom we all have we all have where we come from the customs do you understand so it's important that you know we employ somebody that understands our culture because at times you, you bring them and their culture is totally different and you expect them to if you know you don't have patience yes if you know you don't have patience please don't employ somebody that your culture and theirs is different you must be a patient person in order to live with anybody if you employ a nanny because the nanny is not even a, a perfect person so you need patience you need to teach them teach them with love and be patient with them to adapt to your culture yes it's important to put that into consideration please guys don't employ somebody when you are not ready yes so let me put it out here if you know you are employing or you're getting a help that will be going to school don't just put them in any house school whatever that child learns will be transferred to your kids in one way or the other that's what i believe in please let's be mindful of the school we put in our helps because whatever they learn today that will be transferred to your kids is important we have to consider gender while employing a nanny or a help yes some people actually prefer boys why some some will tell you they are scared because um um the the boy will molest their child believe me the lady you are employing or the girl help you are employing might actually be uh, um molesting your boy child so molestation is a two-way thing so let's be careful to make sure that your kids are okay and that, that the help is doing the right thing yes so guys let's consider all these things before you employ anybody and please if you are employing anybody treat them well treat them well i'll keep saying it is important because nobody knows tomorrow that means that your maturing today might be somebody tomorrow nobody knows but please let's try our best and treat these kids people that work for us our nan is right it my mother used to tell me that we, so a lot of us are busy training people's kids
kids because when you feel that you're maltreating those kids no you're preparing you're actually preparing them for greater things in future yes and we let go of our kids not teaching them anything yes so it's high time if you have a nanny also make your kids to walk let it not just be on the nanny alone. It's very important. That way you will be training your kids too. Yes. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. So guys, if you know of any point that I did not you know, visit or talk about, write it down in the comment section. I will be down there uh, to read and equally learn. Yes, because we all, we keep learning. Nobody is perfect. Thank you so much. Bye.